I would say the greatest impact besides the revenue lift, which obviously is the main reason why you would, you'd, one would utilize a revenue management system, it has been that it has realigned the thinking of our teams in terms of how you actually go about pricing units and maximizing revenue. All right, he was um, politely billing all of our drinks to one of the other Rainmaker employees' tabs um, throughout the rest of the evening. And at some point, um, we were experimented with a concept of throw cushions because there was an outdoor bar without a patio and a, um, couches on it that had throw pillows on them, which we determined what really meant is that they were, the purpose for them was to be thrown. And so they did end up flying off the edge of the patio into various other areas of the hotel. I think our leasing teams have benefited most from after we starting our pricing in understanding how the pricing is what it is that they're not, again, pulling the prices out of just a random box. They know why the pricing is there. They're not being priced emotionally. They're being priced based on supply and demand statistics and accurate forecasts and not based on someone who had a bad day. It wasn't necessarily tough, but it was change, and change can be tough. Well, it's been a great change with our, with our leasing team. I, when we first rolled out, everybody was a little nervous, which I think is, is natural. They, they thought we were still, you know, we were changing everything. And I said at the end of the day, we're still, we're still leasing apartments. It's just a little bit of a different thing. And they really actually ended up feeling empowered by it because stuff like follow-up used to be a real pain in the neck. It used to feel awkward. They felt like they were stalking people.